Y'all really got a thousand likes in an hour. I'm so proud of you. If you haven't seen the first upload, Pink Flamingos, then click on that because you're missing out. Guinea Pig 4, Devil Woman Doctor. It's disputed if this is the fourth or the sixth film in the series. It's all about Devil Woman Doctor, played by drag actor Peter. Yep, two drag queens today, Divine and Devil Woman Doctor. The guinea pig movies take a goofy turn, so don't expect no woman getting tortured and murdered. I'm tired of that anyway. You wanna see what happens, including all the messed up parts? Stay tuned for the breakdown. Cue to Gohan. The movie begins with a doll. My mom, she used to make dolls like this, actually. Look, it's the devil woman doctor. She slices into the doll's chest and blood drips before squirting all over the room. She's a quack doctor called the devil woman doctor. We're about to see her examination history from hell. Now what the hell is a Cardi? Playboy Cardi? It was a whole lot of red though. <laughs> this right here is the most disgraceful family in Japan. Looks like they've been summoned by the devil doctor for punishment. Congenital brain explosion disease. Their heads will blow up when they get upset. She didn't even get mad, but her head blew up. Even the baby blows his head up when he gets mad. Well, if that was the case, it was never gonna live that long. After calling his penis impotent, he starts speaking tongue. <laughs> This patient here has a weak heart. Her heart explodes from the slightest fear. Just really freaking cool, honestly. <laughs> like her. Now we are on to Playboy Cardi 2. This person has dissociative identity disorder. Also, thanks to y'all for letting me know not to say the other term on the Ruins Marvel video. This guy is nuts. He reminds me of that Drake and Josh scene where they fuck up their dad's career and have to mess their own face up and clothes. Imagine if you saw somebody's body go out of their control like this. She's just as messed up as Divine. Uh, doctor, how is that helping? Helping him die? The guinea pig movies all use similar sound effects. You had to be Charlie Sheen to think it was real. Soon, the man finds a job of being an idiot on the city street. To this day, he makes seven figure salary. Now, human face Whitlow is a disease with a human face tumor. The human face tumor is on this Yakuza member's stomach. It's kind of like that horror movie called Basket Face. His Yakuza nickname on the streets is the Tumor of Dojima. Now, the guy is a celebrity on the streets for tourists and the like. Still kind of creepy, but let's move on. All right, guys, let's go to dinner. We got brain stew, sunny side eyes, ball testicles, and vagina rice. That liver right there, it's, it, it has cancer in it. <gasps> it's my old roommate, Ryota. <laughs> Remember the old days? Sorry, Jennifer, but my annoying fuckboy roommate keeps singing while I'm recording this. Shut the fuck up, will ya? Wow, long time no see. You eat people now? Now we move on to Playboy Cardi 5. This guy's a zombie, a dead man. Dead Man Wonderland. It's my favorite anime title, by the way. These two are feeling each other, I can tell. This is really weird, but basically they have a funny relationship. Also, this is off topic, but I adore how when someone is replying to something in Japanese, sometimes they'll be like, eh? Eh? <laughs> yeah. The two hook little fingers together to signify their amazing love for each other. She can keep that meaty finger as a testament of their love. Playboy Cardi 6. Look at that cat! My little sister, she pronounces cat like kit. Let's go. Looks like somebody left a package. Oh wow, this really is basket case. No, it's a little bit different. It's a moving organ that chases after the nearest screaming Japanese woman. It reminds you of a slasher movie. This organ chases her on all ends and even plants itself on the payphone window. This will make an excellent video game. Puppet combo, chillers art, write notes. I think y'all would love if I play scary games. <laughs> I gotta do that on camera though, once I get my iCarly iSpooky set up. The woman runs far and wide, but the organ wants her soul. It's dark as hell out here though, darker than angel guts. The devil woman saves the woman's life by holding it captive like a boss. That was actually really cool. On cart seven, the guy has a disease where he sweats blood. If only you were a bloodbender, you'd be the strongest in the verse. 
He thinks he can never be married with blood sweat. <laughs> Please, Divine would love it. Now, I won't show too much of this because a lot of his actions resemble vomiting. Now, in Playbook Party 8, Devil Woman Doctor is about to remove a rogue tattoo. A tattoo that moves and plays damn near too much. Now, they did a really good job on this animation. It was very ambitious. I know y'all did the best y'all could. She cuts through that tattoo like a Freddy Krueger nightmare but the tattoo keeps on moving so she is just getting patches of fruit roll up instead. And apparently she skinned him alive by the time she could actually get the tattoo. I'd rather have the tattoo. These final people have internal diseases. The next scene is a guaranteed no eating moment. Better get finished eating cause I don't wanna see no crybabies. Okay guys listen I'm about to show you something really nasty. You're not eating right? Okay. Alright then. <laughs> Close your eyes. Close your eyes if so. Look at those fermented soybeans under his feet. He's decaying down there. Now this guy on the right, he can stretch his penis. Yeah, he can stretch it, but still doesn't know how to clean his shit. Like, come on, bro. This guy here can exhale smoke out of his body. Sounds like a quirk in my hero that I would hate to have. Never gonna be the best superhero in the world with that shit. This guy on the far left has a rogue heart that moves around in his body. Looks like he doesn't have to worry about heart disease. The guy with the soybean between his toes can also lay eggs. Vomit eggs that hold aliens inside it. Next, they have a turd that can scramble around like a baby, but I won't show that because it looks too real. The movie ends as they sing a nice medley, an old fashioned version of Bink Sake. The devil woman doctor proclaims she can't fix these men. I wouldn't want to become a patient of you anyway. <laughs> I'm not going front, that shit made me flinch so hard. The movie ends with her giving all the cast members an iron pie. I love seeing the cast members have so much fun, it feels wholesome. Good work, guinea pig 4, good work. I loved watching this movie, it's so goofy. Yeah, the guinea pig movie started all extreme and misogynistic, but it became something so goofy and weird. And I enjoy that change a lot. They clearly have gotten more ambitious in filmmaking too. And this is my favorite guinea pig so far. Thanks for blessing me with this. Now let's talk about the movie some more. Cue the dang Gohan. Guinea pig, devil woman, doctor is slapstick goaded. I liked it a lot. Y'all did notice the similarities in characters between the two breakdowns today, right though? I do stuff like that a lot, but y'all never notice. Kind of like when I did a breakdown of Shram featuring a red haired crush and then made a breakdown of Spider-Man also featuring a red haired crush. This movie was goofy. They was trying to do something new and it was still nasty. It's one of my favorite watches. It wasn't boring and I watched it all in one sitting. I can't say that about a lot of these movies I've been talking about recently. Most disturbed moment is maybe the blood sweat guy or the ending sickness people. Most enjoyable moment is easily when we got pelted in the face by Iron Pie. She put all her energy in that smash. If you liked this video, click that like button, subscribe to stay tuned for more messed up stuff. Thanks for watching. Spooky out.